welcome back everyone to the video series dedicated show on Paramount Plus that is too legit to quit. That's right, we're talking about The Challenge All-Stars Episode 4 and in this episode we learn just what the lifesaver power entails. Beth can go to Supreme Queen type of level competition and Mark really embraces the Godfather role this episode. But before we get into all that, let's start off where last episode left off and that was Nehemiah going up against Tech in the going out of tile elimination and Nehemiah winning coming back into the house. And first of all, Nehemiah and Jemmy are the happiest as they continue to get very, very close with each other and their budding challenge romance. Then we look towards Yes, who is talking about the politics of the game and how the game is continuously moving. And if you stop moving, well, then your time in the game could be coming up short. Maybe that is a foreshadow of what's to come for the rest of the episode. But we move on to the next morning where Beth and Cyrus are talking and Beth is talking about how much she misses her family. She is feeling very, very homesick, but Cyrus is there to pick her up and make her feel happy. And then we move over to Orissa and we get a little bit more about who she is outside of the challenge. Outside of the challenge, she is a cannabis chef where she is fusing food and weed together and she's also had the thought of how she did not win Battle of the Sexes 2 and it's always been in her brain and she is here right now to stake a claim within this game. Then we move over to Katie talking with Derek and Katie is like, look, I worked out before I came here. I'm not the layup that everyone thinks I am. And Derek is saying that we should all watch out for Katie, but we're gonna have to see what she can do heading into this week's daily challenge. Now everybody gets up their gear, heads over to meet TJ near yet again, another body of water for this week's daily challenge called On The Ropes. What everyone is gonna have to do is be split into teams of five, four teams of five. They're gonna have to get up on these floating platforms over the water that are connected by ropes. And what these teams are gonna have to do in this daily challenge is they're gonna be standing on opposite sides on opposite platforms and they're gonna have to race each other. And so one person at a time is gonna go across the rope and then back again. Once you can make it there and back to your platform, that's when you can go over to your opponent's rope and then pull on it and trying to get the other team to drop into the water. The team that can release the most ropes the quickest will win this daily challenge, win into power. Now this is a woman's elimination, so the winning team's woman captain is going to get safety while the men captain on the winning team will get the lifesaver and the team that does the absolute worst, their woman captain will be sent straight into the elimination and nothing's gonna happen to the men captain of the losing team. We've seen that happen before, but maybe that'll change up in the next coming episodes. We're gonna have to wait and see. Now, everyone was randomly selected into their teams, and so we have the copper team, the black team, the gold team, and the silver team. For the copper team, we have Big Easy, Arissa, Alton, John A, and Katie, where Big Easy and John A are the captains. For the black team, we have Kendall, Latarian, Kellyanne, Darrell, and Hizella, where Kendall and Latarian are the captains. On the gold team, we have Yes, Ruthie, Derek, Anissa, and Mark, where Ruthie and Mark are the team captains. And finally, for the silver team, we have Cyrus, Jemmy, Nehemiah, and Beth. There is an odd number of players, so one player has to be going twice, and that is going to be Darrell, the man who is super scared of heights, will have to go twice, and the team captain for the silver team is Nehemiah and Beth. Now for round one, we have the copper team versus the black team. The first two players out for their teams are Alton and Kendall, and they're doing a really great job, but we've seen Alton on previous seasons with rope challenges absolutely kill it. This is no different. He kills this one, tries to get Kendall to fall off by taking out the rope that's underneath her feet, but she is able to recover pretty well, and then John A is going for her team, and that's when Kendall tries to make John A drop, but she has a nice recovery. Hazella going, and she falls, and she's the first one to fall, and then John A is getting super, super close to her platform. She is like an inch away from her platform. When Kellyanne goes there and back, she just drops John A, and John A hits the water really hard, but she was so close to her platform to be so close yet so far away. Then we have Latarian dropping Big Easy later on. And then Katie's team only has two ropes and they have the top two ropes that they have to play. And Katie is really, really short. First of all, she doesn't even want to do this. She is seeing a lot of these players getting rope burns. They're falling really hard and she is worried. Like she already got a bloody nose 
earlier on in this challenge season. She doesn't want to get another injury to her face. She tries to get up on the top ropes, but then she's like, I don't want to do this. Sorry, guys. And Alton just says, just jump from the platform. So she just falls straight from the platform. She is done for her team. Then Arissa goes, and Darrell is able to go there and back to his to his platform, pulls the rope that Arissa is like sitting on. So she falls directly into the water. Then Alton tries to go on the one rope and Kendall is able to go there and back and Alton drops, but Kendall drops the final rope for the black team, securing the win for the round for the black team. And now it comes down to gold versus silver. It's the age old rivalry. What's better, gold or silver? So we have Derek and Nehemiah going neck and neck in the first players for their teams, but Derek on the way back is able to take over the lead pool on the rope and drops Nehemiah again just like John A so close to the platform Nehemiah is done for and that's when the gold team is feeling themselves they're like we got this we have this on lock Cyrus tries to drop Anissa but she recovers but she can only recover for so long and she is just like feeling it in her arms she's feeling it in her legs and that's when her whole team is like just drop just fall as fast as you can so we can get this because this is a timed event so Anissa drops on her own and then Mark is able to catch up with Beth and even surpass her and then he drops Beth into the water Ruthie is able to drop Jemmy then yes drops Darrell and then Cyrus is the lone survivor on his team and that's when Derek is going again and in the middle of Derek coming back Cyrus is like I don't want to risk injury I'm gonna lose this anyway so he just drops in the water on his own volition and then Derek gets back as soon as he can to drop the final rope securing the win for the gold team now coming back in front of TJ everyone is waiting for the result it's either going to be the black team or or the gold team and that's when TJ announces that the gold team is the winner meaning Ruthie is safe as she was the team captain for the gold team and Mark being the men team captain is going to get the lifesaver and man does Mark want to use it so badly and then TJ announces that the overall losing team is none other than the silver team, meaning Beth is going straight into the elimination. When we get back to the house, she's talking to her alliance member saying like, look, I wanna stay here, I want the best possibility. So they're like, well, who do you wanna go up against? And that's when Beth says, I wanna either go up against Katie or Kendall. And Jemmy's like, what are you talking about? You should not wanna go up against Kendall. She did great in this daily challenge, she just won an elimination. Jemmy is thinking that the best bet is going up against Arissa, and then, she brings up that, well, if we do vote in Katie, Mark is probably going to use the lifesaver to save Katie. And everybody's like, yeah, but what would that power entail? We have no idea. We move on to the nomination ceremony, and that's when Katie's like, look, I saw everyone try their hardest. A lot of people got rope burns. I did not because I didn't even get on the ropes, and I just fell into the water right off the bat. I didn't technically really try, so I'm good to throw myself into the ring. And so a lot of players are like, wow, that's really respectable. But this was a great move for Katie because coming into this nomination ceremony and when looking into the aftermath, she's like, look, I was more than sure that Mark was gonna use the lifesaver on me to save me. So I nominated myself thinking that I could get a lot of players on my side, that people were gonna look at me and be like, wow, that was really commendable, that she was gonna send herself into the elimination when she didn't even try, and now she's like putting her own game on the line when she knew full well that Mark was gonna use the lifesaver to save her and she wouldn't have to go up against Beth and really put her game on the line. I thought this was a great strategic move for Katie especially having that much trust in Mark and knowing that Mark was not gonna pass this opportunity up to see what the lifesaver power entails. So Katie is nominated and nominated herself. We go out on the town. Everyone's having a good time, getting some drinks, except for Arissa who wants to have her space. She's isolating herself away from it and I totally understand it. She wants her own space. She is dropped into this challenge house where there's no privacy. There's like four beds to each bedroom. She is living with 20 other players and she is just like over it by now. And so she is like not feeling it. She wants her own space for the night. So she tells everyone to just leave her alone. But on the other side, Mark wants to have as many conversations as he can as he is the holder of the lifesaver. And that's where Mark does the godfather move by having Derek be the one to summon players 
over to Mark, to Mark's table, and have a conversation with them. And he wants to have a conversation with majority of the women because he wants to use the lifesaver. He, first of all, he doesn't want to screw himself strategically by using the lifesaver when nobody wants him to. But in the aftermath, he said even if everyone told him not to use it, he was most likely going to use it anyways. But he wanted to save himself strategically. And when he asked everybody, should I use it? Do you think I should use it? Everyone was like, yeah, you should use it. We want to see what's going to happen. Use it, use it, use it. Except for Kellyanne, who says don't use it. And in the aftermath, she said that, oh, well, uh, Beth said Katie's name. Katie volunteered herself. Why shake up the game if everybody was cool with the decision? But Mark is like, no, that's that's no fun. And we want some spice in this game, and I'm going to use it no matter what. And so he's making as many deals as he can with all the women saying that, hey, I'm going to use it. If I use it and get to pick the replacement nominee, if I don't say your name, would you do me a favor later on in this game? And everyone's saying, yeah, I'm totally down with that. This is politics 101. If I don't say your name, you have to do something for me later on in the game. He's playing this really, really well, except for the fact that he doesn't know exactly how the lifesaver power is used. So then the next morning, he goes over and talks to Arissa because he was giving her as much space as she needed last night. So now in the morning, he has a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her and he's talking like, look, I'm thinking about using the lifesaver, but if I do use it, I would never say your name. I really like having you in the house. And Arissa feels really, really comfortable with Mark and really likes that he is saying all these nice things to her. But he is under the assumption that he is going to be able to choose who he's replacing Katie with. And he wants to put Kendall into the elimination against Beth. Now, speaking of Beth, Beth gets a call from home and she's going to use that to fuel herself in this elimination to know what, who she's playing for and who she's fighting for in this game. Now we move on to the elimination where everybody's walking in and they see these like giant walls attached with ropes. What's going to happen? We're gonna have to wait and see. TJ addresses everyone in the stands saying that he needs to see Beth and Katie down on the arena floor. And that's when TJ turns the floor over to Mark asking if he's gonna use the lifesaver. And Mark is like, no duh, I'm gonna use the lifesaver. I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna save Katie. And what's gonna happen now, TJ? Well, TJ says that now, it's time for a revote. So everyone is going to be able to vote in somebody else to replace Katie into the elimination, except for the renom can't be Katie or Ruthie because they are now safe. So now Darrell is on the spot. He is the one to cast the first vote. He doesn't know who to say. He doesn't know what to say. And then he turns over to Beth and asks her, who do you want to go up against in this elimination? And Beth says Arissa's name. And I thought that is the nail in the coffin. When somebody says the first name, normally, Everyone just piggybacks on it, and then it's over. I was thinking that this was going to be unanimous Arissa votes. However, that's not the case. It comes down to like 3-3-1-1 three, three, one, one for the votes at one point, where it's three votes for Arissa, three votes for Kendall, one vote for Anissa, and one vote for Kellyanne, which that one vote for Kellyanne was like a burn vote, and it was Arissa's vote. The final vote comes out to 8-3-2-1. Arissa is going to go into this week's elimination against Beth, and Arissa is pissed. She is so flustered. She is so frustrated. She comes down and she's like, I want to box. Can we box? I want to punch Beth, basically. And TJ is like, that's not the elimination that we're doing. We're not punching anybody. We're playing this elimination called wall ball. And he even goes on to explain it. However, by the time he's done explaining it and he's about to do the air horn for them to go, Arissa, instead of putting on her helmet, takes off her helmet, and TJ's like, what are you doing? Are you going to actually play the game, or do you not want to wear a helmet during the game? And she's like, I won't need a helmet for what I'm about to do next. She turns over to the house. She just drags the house. She curses them out. She flicks them off, and then tells everybody that she's out. She's done. She's not going to even play this elimination. She's just going to be gone, and this is her decision, and she's going out on her own terms. And her whole thing is that even if she wins this elimination, she doesn't know if she can live in a house full of snakes. And so she's just done. Even if she wins, she's going to lose. So instead, she's just going to go out on her own terms. She pieces out. She flicks everybody off. And this is where we hear from all the promos where TJ is saying, wow, seriously, 
don't take care, hope to see you never, and he says that's some BS, and Beth is given the win, and that's when we hear Derek say a win is a win from the stands, and so Beth gets to stay in this game, but that is it for this episode of the Challenge All-Stars. What did you think about this episode? Let me know that in the comment section below. What did you think about the Daily Challenge? What did you think about the results? What did you think about the Lifesaver Power? Were you like totally blindsided that the whole house was gonna vote in for the replacement? Because I know I was. I thought Mark was gonna be able to like choose whoever he wanted. But I kind of like the idea that everyone is like put on blast. But what do you think about it? Let me know that in the comment section below. And what do you think about Orissa quitting? Let me know anything and everything you thought about this episode down in the comment section below. But thank you so much for watching. While you're down there, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll be back really, really soon with more Challenge All-Star content, more Challenge content, more content in general. But until then, peace.